and good morning. 51 degrees this morning, a little cooler than yesterday. The winds, though, have finally calmed down. They calmed down overnight last night. Right now, out of the east northeast at six miles per hour. And though there will be a little bit of a breeze today, we won't see nearly the wind that we saw yesterday. And that'll be the case statewide. Mainly clear skies as we head through the entire day. So a lot of sunshine. 55 for your nine o'clock hour. We'll climb into the low 60s for your lunch hour. And then highs today only in the mid 60s. So about 10 degrees cooler than where we were yesterday. And we're off to a chilly start up to the north in the teens in Alamosa, 92 there. Raton at 32, 31 in Las Vegas. Freeze warning still in effect for much of the northeast as temperatures continue to hover close to the freezing mark. Above freezing for Tucumcari and Clovis, and then down in the southeast, we're in the 40s and 50s. And highs today, much cooler, 60s and 70s in the southeast. And again, only in the 50s up in the northern mountains. Let you know how long this cooler weather is sticking around coming up in your full forecast. What's in a name? Sometimes a lot. More now in this morning's news. Breaks. Occupy Albuquerque is changing its name because some are calling it offensive to Native Americans. The activist group is now Unoccupy Albuquerque. Protesters swapped the name because of the potentially negative connotations the word Occupy has, especially in a city where a lot of Native Americans live. A 3.8 earthquake hit about nine miles north of Santa Fe yesterday morning. It's the latest in a series of small tremors in northern New Mexico and southern Colorado in the last few months. No one's been hurt and there's been no major damage. The Herman Cain phenomena is a hot topic as presidential hopefuls prepare for another debate tonight in Nevada. Cain has risen fast and many are wondering whether he will fall just as quickly. Cain has been facing more and more intense scrutiny. And tonight's CNN debate in Nevada won't include New Mexico's former governor, Gary Johnson. He's not happy with that decision, so we sent CNN a letter asking them to reconsider. Tell us what you think about Johnson being left out. Post a comment on our Facebook page or send me a tweet at Matt at KRQE. And those are your Tuesday morning headlines.